Okay, in this video we're going to look at the cell membrane in a little more detail. In particular, we're going to look at the function of the proteins that are in the cell membrane. So the cell membrane is more than lipids. There are transmembrane proteins embedded in the phospholipid bilayer. They create semi-permeable channels to allow certain polar molecules to pass through the cell membrane. So without the transmembrane proteins, the carrier proteins and such, there would be no way for permeable or polar molecules to pass through the cell membrane and get in and out of the cell. There are specific channels for specific materials, so each protein carries specific types of molecules across the cell membrane. So sugar, amino acids, water, salts, other ions, other substances, each use a different protein to get across the cell membrane. So these transport proteins are specific. So why is it that they're the perfect molecule to build structures in the cell membrane? Well, if you remember, different amino acids, some are polar and some are nonpolar. So here's some of the nonpolar uh, amino acids. And here are the polar or electrically charged ones. And so again, the polar parts, they're going to be on the outside of the membrane and the Nonpolar parts are going to be in the inside. So the protein domains are the parts of the protein anchor the molecule within the protein. These would be the nonpolar parts that are red in the diagram here. The outer surface, those, that's where you find the polar molecules, the hydrophilic molecules. So here's a couple examples here. You can see the functioning of these different carrier molecules here. So they change shape to allow movement. So there are transporters. These are channel proteins. They allow small molecules to pass through the interior of the protein. There are proteins that are have enzymatic functions. They allow chemical reactions to occur at the cell membrane. There are cell surface receptors. These are things that are involved in cell communication. We'll talk more about those later. We talked about the cell surface identity markers, the uh, glyco, glycoproteins or the glycolipids and so on. Antigens. Cell adhesion proteins function in cell to cell junctions. We'll talk more about those later as well. And then there's attachments to the cytoskeleton. So proteins determine the membrane-specific functions. Cell membranes and organelle membranes each have unique collections of proteins. There are peripheral proteins on the outer surface. They're loosely bound to the surface of the membrane. These are the cell surface markers of the antigens. Integral proteins are inside the cell membrane, but they, they're, and they're usually across the whole membrane. Transmembrane proteins, transport proteins, channel pumps, permeases, so on. 